gonna make the profiles boom, 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 boom. What it is, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is and what it ain't. What it is is real life, real talk by a motherfucker. Yes, I really did. To what degree I did it? I can't call it like an alcohol. I know I did it though. Or was I dreaming? Don't wake me. I'm dreaming. No, I'm not dreaming, Holmes. I know I really did. It was a nightmare though. It was a horrible nightmare. What it ain't is added preservatives, man. We're not lying here. We're not talking about no fake stories, man. We're giving it to you as really the real deal. Holy fuck on two ears. Fuck it. That's just how we do it. As you can tell by that thumbnail, Southern Raza. I got to address some shit, man. I'm Spence on la tira. Hey, all point bulletin. So let's get con permiso on la tira. It's time for me to say gracias, right? Fuck, appreciate you, man. Get down, eh? <laughs> I appreciate all the support, all the love I'm getting from the Southern Raza. You know, Sureños, Southsiders, residents, fucking Mexicanos that get up every morning and toil in the soil and go out there and work for their familias. People from down south, past Bakersfield on back, man. I got nothing but respect and love for you. Thank you so much for all the support. I, I just, I thought that for no other reason I should make this video directed right at you guys to show you guys some appreciation. And everyone's going to get their love homes, but I got to start from where it started for me down there. Trip out. Let's talk about when I was a kid, Holmes, and why I got so much respect for people from down south, Holmes. And I'm not talking about the people incarcerated behind the walls right now on the yarda, busting down, doing a rutina. The burpees are real, Holmes. The chequeadas are realer, right? We're not talking about that. We're talking about um, the people that are out there showing me love and support for my channel, man. Because at the end of the day, brown is brown. It don't matter if you're from up north or down south, Holmes. Brown is brown. It's the, and that's better than everything. Mm hmm Don't hate, right? Um... When I was a kid, and I remember being shackled up on that motherfucking green dick, shackled up on the bus one time for your mind, and I was headed down south. And I knew at that exact moment, there was motherfucking butterflies in my stomach. I was tripping, right? I was getting some knowledge that I couldn't get in college in a minute. I knew exactly what was going to happen. I knew going down south, okay, look good. I knew I was going down there, and I probably wasn't going to return. I wasn't going to return the same. Um, I didn't think I was going to make it, man. As I hit that grapevine, what was going through my mentality, passing Bakerfield was like, damn, I'm, you done did it now. And I knew in my mentality, the way I was, I was going to stand strong for my people for Northern California. I was going to be a truly productive member of that motherfucking yard. I was going to do what I had to do to survive. That's it. I was going to do what I had to do as a brown person, as a warrior, homes with the Azteca blood to fucking make it happen. Menudo, right? In a menudo style of direct fashion, that's just what it was going to be. I was going to get real. Um, but at the same time, I knew I was going into a very, very complex place where it was the gangbanging was too real. Okay, it was highly gangbangable. Orale. No cap, right? It was highly in a gangbang fashion. They were banging on them streets out there. They was banging in them motherfucking prisons and in them CYAs. And I knew where I was going, man, was just a little bit different. Now, everyone always said, hey, man, down south, man, it's more fast paced. You guys ain't ready for this shit. And up north, we wasn't, right? But we done caught up. Oh, yeah, we caught up, right? Let me tell you, the mentality wasn't too much difference, man. We knew how to get with the program, and we chose to get with the program. So when I pulled up to Fred C. Nellis, when I pulled up down south, the belly of the beast, the mouth of the dragon, you know what I mean? Burned up, right? Um, I already knew right then and there that I was going to have to be that one, or I was going to be that one in my own fucking mind. Because if I didn't proceed and do what I had to do, I was going to get swallowed up whole. So that's good. That ain't a good look. So in the Menudo style, I get there, right? And um, the Southerners were embracing. Okay, there was fights. There was riots. There was melees. Fathers were doing what they had to do. And we were doing back what we chose we had to do, right? Straight up. Wasn't no one fucking giving an inch, homes. Wasn't no one breaking. Wasn't no one PCing up. Wasn't no one checking in. Wasn't no one rolling shit up. Wasn't no one, oh, yeah, yeah, faking heart attacks. Wasn't no none of that shit. Our antennas were up. Our awareness was real. The gangbanging was real, our homes. The steel was sharpie. Oh, man, we were double up. Oh, oh, we were handling our business. But I started to develop relationships. I started to develop friendships. I started to develop my stilo. I was a young kid, Holmes. And yes, I picked up on that Southern hospitality, the Southern flavor, Simon, Tramaz, Camisa, Chris Stuck, Hush Puppies, Stacey Adams, Cortez's, Chuck Taylor's. You know what I mean? Orale, everything that they had going on down there, I identified, Holmes. My speech patterns, the way I got down. Well, you was trying to be a Sureño. Now, I wasn't trying to be nothing, homie. I was a Norteño in hostile lands, homes that adapted to his environment. And that's just the way it was. I was a young kid, and all I seen was the Chicanismo, the Chicano estilo, and Sasuke, I gravitated towards that. 
in a northern fashion. And that's just what it was. Okay, so I wanted to make this addressal to the Southern Raza. I appreciate you guys. I would not be here today and be what I am without the respect and a lot of the canalismo that I was shown. Yeah, what? So what do you mean, gun, right? No, I got love for the Norteños. So first and foremost, those will always be my people, whether you like me or not. I got love for the Pedro Chatos. Sometimes a little too much. But you know, get up off my ankles. Huh? Shit, love, huh? respect. But at the same time, when it comes to the Southern counterparts, the Southern Raza, I got a whole lot of love and respect as well. Okay? And I wanted to make this video to express that. To say, man, I fucking appreciate all the Southern love I've been getting from the gente. You know, they don't have to like me. So I was getting gun, you wear a little too much red. I wear blue as well. So I was getting gun, you be talking that high power shit. I've been talking that low power shit too. You know what I mean? Read between the lines. Spell it. Spell low power, right? I be doing what I does, man, because I'm not here for just a certain people. I'm not here for a certain geographical type individual. I'm here for all brown people, all people, period. So let's get view me, right? But I'm here for the brown people. And I thought if it out of respect, out of the utmost respect that I have, and everyone that's showing me love down south, I got to say gracias, homes. There's no other words that can express that. I've been through a lot, okay? I did function down south. I did go through that. I do got family, uh, familia members from Wilmas. I do got familia members from other parts of motherfucking the SGB and the SGB. Is there. I can't say it though. It's like, yeah, they're like, hey, I'm active. Hey, don't put me in that bind, right? So we won't speak their names, but I will just say that I do got familia from down south. And every time I go down there, and oh, I will go to Orange, Orange County, stand up. When I'm down there, man, I show a lot of love and a lot of respect, okay? So I just want to say lately, I've been getting a, a few people, uh, Testing my ability as a man. So I said, hey, why are you fucking disrespecting Neil Tuzari? Why are you disrespecting the Vata from down south? I don't give a fuck where he's from. I'm hold. Yeah, I'll hold. No, I won't. Look, I ain't tripping off where the Vata's from. I thought it was fun. I thought it was frivolous. I thought I was going to have a little fun. I felt like chicken tonight. All right, I just wanted to do my thing because at the end of the day, man, um, real is real, still sharp and still, man. And I had a real point to make, and I think I addressed it. I made it. Boom! Con un pinchy fork. Stick it in them. All right, Uber Eats, they're hiring. I said, you know what I mean? That's how I felt, okay? It was no reflection on the way I think about the South, man. To all the Southerners, to all the people that live down South, homes, thank you so much. I highly appreciate everything that you guys do for me. I wouldn't have my channel if it wasn't for the hand there. Let's talk about it. I believe, honestly, when I came into this YouTube shit, Gunners Collective, boom, bang, I came in on the mask, so I was breathing like the, right, I wasn't ready for this, um, I didn't know what I was doing, press to play, rewind, stop, fast forward, that's it, let's go, right, put my little motherfucking Metro ghetto phone sideways and got to recording, didn't know what the fuck I was going to talk about, but I knew I had something to say, um, the people showed me love, right, I think I was one of the very first ones, if not the, the wind's blowing, if not the first one, to bring in the Southern Rasa and the Northern Rasa to the table, homes and say, hey, Charlie, homes, let's, let's unite in this shit. If not, even in the Pinta, at least in fucking YouTube, homes and show each other some respect. You could always represent your neighborhood. You could always represent where you're from, homes because you're a grown man, and grown men can do what the fuck they want, not what they're told. But at the end of the day, homes, let's show each other, hey, let's do it with class, professionalism. Show each other a little bit of respect, homes, and maybe at the end of the day, you could build bonds and bridges and relationships just like I did when I was in the, in the South, homes. And you'll see it for what it is, homes, for the brown pride, right? Um, and a lot of people did that and ran with that, and I fucking appreciate that, man. So I fucking appreciate that, right? You know what I mean? They did that. The Southern Raza stepped up and said, Orale, canalito, we're going to trip out on it one time. Just once. I said, just once. We only give you one shot. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow, right? And the Norteños did as well, for the most part. A lot of them don't like me. So it's all good in the hood. I like you. You don't have to like me. Mm, bang, bang. Now, um, I was one of the first people on YouTube to implement that, to bring that to the table, man. And it's been a beautiful thing. A year and a half now, strong, menudo. We're all getting along, right? So I had to show my appreciation. I had to make a video just for the Southern Raza to show that appreciation, to show that love, to show that respect. You know, ain't no one checking in. I ain't no gang member. I ain't on the guy that's fucking doing that, homes. These are the streets, homie. So I was, I'm just not trying to get three hots in the car. I'm trying to get a steak. 
con ceviche and a tostada, you know what I mean? And a torta. And the winner is, right? That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a brown man, a broke brown man, man, doing big things. You know what I mean? Well, how can a broke man do big things? Because it's in my mentality to do big things, whether I'm broke or not, homes. Money is not the root of all evil, homes. The evil man is the root of all evil that got money. And that's just what it is. And ain't all about Ferry all the time, homes. It's about a message. The message being, please, gente, as a people, let's show each other respect. Fuck the love. Fuck the canalismo. Fuck this. Fuck it, homes. I'll, I'll bury these cockroaches. Or will I? You know what I mean? Let's show each other respect. It starts in the household. It starts with us being good parents. It starts with us being brown people and showing love to everyone else. And then it spreads. That's it. And then it spreads, right? So I wanted to speak to the Southern Russ and say thank you. Thank you and I appreciate you for being the stand-up individuals you are and showing me that respect and that love. For those of you that talk shit, berga, right? For those of you up north that talk shit, berga, right? I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, it's all about, I do this for the gente and the people that deserve it. I do it for the people that are open for education, people that have an open mind and want change and want their kids to know better so they'll do better. That's what I do for some, some kids. But I just do it differently, right? Bang, bang. Um, do I got a lot of respect for the gente down south? Absolutely. Am I going to go down there and check in with gente? Charlie, you want to know why I'm going to check in? First of all, I know fucking punk, homes. Second of all, I ain't no puto, and I ain't no fucking punk, no puto, no rat. I ain't none, none of that. The reason why I ain't gonna check in, homes, is I'm not in barrios disrespecting. You think I'm gonna go to fucking Puente and disrespect them? El Monte Flores, Florencia, orale. We're your fucking uh, dead end, harpies. Charlie, I'm not gonna go to any of those barrios and disrespect. You know, if I go through anybody's barrio, I'm gonna show love, homes, because that's what you do. Okay? I know how to wiggle down south. I know how to get down, down south. So I what I lay in a southern fashion, man. I just wanted to say, as a people, as a whole, you guys have showed me nothing but love, and I reciprocate that right back. Gracias, man. I appreciate it. I fucking appreciate it to the utmost degree. Okay, I couldn't do this YouTube shit without all the hint they coming together. You think just the North Daniels show me support? Fuck no. I see. You think just the Bulldogs show me support? A lot of them do, but not all of them. So I got about the nipping at my toes. And I went, they're fucking there too. They're about to that don't like me. Keep friends on your mouth. So okay. Hey, fuck you, Wesley. You know what I mean? I was battling alongside and against Fresno before you were born. Get that, get that motherfucking editor on your shit, right? Bang, bang. Take your tight ass pants off, home. That's why you can't breathe. I see you can't breathe. You know what I mean? Um, and down south. I've met a lot of adversaries and I've met a lot of fucking uh, uh, compadres, a lot of autos that are cool with me. And for that, I'm just going to say, you know what? As real as they get, you know, people always trip out on me. Gunner, you wear L.A. hats. Gunner, you wear blue. Gunner, I wear green. I wear black. I, wear, I don't wear pink because I wear hotita. And I don't wear yellow because I just get the dog ain't belly up yet. Right? No amarillo over here. What I will say is I wear a badge of honor, which is brown skin homes and respect to the gente. That's what I wear. Doesn't matter if you're from up north. Doesn't matter if you're from down south. I fucking appreciate everyone. And I could not ever, ever do this without the gente. The message is being felt. It's being spread every day, homes. And like I said, from down south, from up north, gracias, gente. We are all the same. Let's move smooth with that motherfucking purpose. Now, I wanted to tell one little story that I've never told anyone, right? Because why not? It involves what from the down south. Right, um, there was a Vato from Clanton 14th Street. And uh, this Vato was my bunkie in Nellis. Okay? And we started to develop a relationship. We were cool with each other. We chopped it up. We even smoked after each other. Bet you didn't know that, right? We used to smoke motherfucking Michas, which was a small little piece of a cigarette because that's good. We were broke ass Mexicans. He was a white dude, but we were broke ass Mexican and white dudes, even though he was from Clanton. But we used to chop it up. And uh, he was on the top bunk, I was on the bottom, so we looked right there, there was a window, so we chopped it up by the crack. Hey, what's up, bro? Late night, started to become friends. You know what I mean? Shh, don't let anyone see, right? Um, and one point in time, this Valta lost a family member. Okay, and I remember he was very depressed. What are they? Hey, it's a canton, right? He used to be trying to get at him, he'd be like, nah, bro, I ain't trying to talk right now. Okay, okay, I respect it, I respect it. You know what I mean? Um, eventually he, he, he came to and he told me, you know, Hey, yeah, I done lost my jefita, bro. And, uh, you know, I'm about, I'm about ready to take my, take myself off the map. He was about to do something strange, right? He was about to do something to himself. Um, some that ain't cool. And, uh, 
you know, being in Norteño at that time, you would think I'd be like, fuck yeah, I said, kill yourself, right? You think I would be, have that mentality, but I didn't. I didn't look at him from being down south. I didn't look at me from being at north. At that exact moment, I looked at us for being people, man, and for being cool people and respectful people and righteous individuals. And I talked them down. Sasuke, right up off the ledge, right up off the linea, right up off the wire. The Vato was ready to jump. So I'm so right. He was ready to do it. I said, Charlie Holmes, right? Um, and that right there to me was my get backs for things I had did in the past. For fucking actions I had taken on Southerners, you know, con un pico de gallo and un double up, uh, uh, right? Um, I felt like this was, um, like, this was put in my path. This was faith, Holmes. This was put in my path to talk this about the ledge, like, hey, my sins were going to be cleansed. And, uh, and I was able to do that, and he was able to prosper. And nowadays, he's a big-time rapper and shit like that. Shh, I won't say his name. But you know what I'm saying, right? Um, everyone has a path in life. It doesn't matter where you're from, man. You're putting people's paths. You're putting people's way home for a reason. There's a reason for it. It's, a, it's not to kill them. He kills people. It's not for that. It's to show love and respect, bro, and help the next man. I, that's what I've learned that's what I learned throughout my experience. You got to understand I was a young man incarcerated. No one taught me this shit. I learned on my own. I read books. Louis L'Amour, stand up. What did it Sidney Sheldon, right? Um, a lot of historical books about our cultura, you know, where we're derived from, our gente, our people. And nothing in that motherfucker says southern and northern. Nothing. It all says brown. That's it. And that was my favorite word of the day. You know what I mean? And that's what I did. So anyways, with that being said, a little story, you know, um, I can't go into too much detail because the Vato still activated in the functions, right? He's doing his thing. But I will say, man, nothing but the utmost respect. So to all the people, the Southern Raza, gracias gente. I can't do it without you. We're going to continue to strive and struggle for what we truly believe in, which is not North or South, but it's coming together as a gente, man. Raza, we need you. That's good. Hey, we breathe it. We sleep it. We're brown. Sorry, we're going to be broken brown Mexicans to the day we die. Or maybe we're not. Can't call them like an alcoholic. Anyways, with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, man, it's all about not being counterproductive, but being a productive member of society and going out there and getting it for your gente and your familia. It doesn't matter where you're fucking from, whether it be Oakland or East Los. It's all the same to me. Bang, bang. If you like this, please hit that like and subscribe. If you don't, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in, which is going out there and trying to get a bag. Because if not, then I ain't going to eat no more honeycombs. And so, I like some fucking honeycombs. Let's see. Orale, menudo. Bang, bang. This is the gun, gente. Gracias para the south. Mm. What can I... I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. Orale, say. Right? Bang, bang, homes.